Okay, a real quick bonding question, guys. Um, just to help you out, those of you that are revising structure and bonding. Um, so let's get straight into this. This is from an A-level chemistry pass paper, okay, AQA specifically. But this, this knowledge can be helpful if you're doing OCR, LXL, it really doesn't matter. So sodium, sodium right here, reacts with ammonia to form this compound NaNH2. And this contains the NH2 minus ion. We have to draw the shape of this guy right here, and we have to include any lone pairs of electrons that influence the shape. We have to predict the bond angle and justify our prediction here, okay? So, of those of you that, that aren't too confident with this topic, it's actually pretty simple, okay? What we're going to do is we're going to pick our central atom, okay? In this case, the central atom is always going to be the one that's just one of it, okay? So, in this case, central atom is just going to be the nitrogen right here because there's two hydrogens. We can't use that as the central atom, okay? So, what you want to do next is just take a peek at your periodic table and see what group is this in, okay? Nitrogen, I just remember off the top of my head, is in group 5, Okay, group five, okay, means that it has five valence electrons or five outer electrons. Okay, so with nitrogen, what's normally the case is it's going to have three bonding pairs and one lone pair. That's just normally how it is, for example, like in ammonia. Okay, now what we can have, what we have to pay attention to here is that within this ion right here, it has a minus charge. Okay, and that means that our nitrogen has gained an electron. Okay, so this means that our nitrogen ultimately has been transformed to have six valence electrons. Okay, okay, so what shape is this going to be? So I'm just going to start by drawing our nitrogen here. Okay, so this is attached to two uh, other atoms. So we know that the number of bonding pairs equals two. So I'm just going to write that here bonding pairs equals two. Okay, so within each bonding pair, one of the electrons within the bonding pair is going to come from the nitrogen atom, the central atom, and then the other electron is going to come from the bonding atom, okay? So this has taken off two electrons available from the valence shell of the nitrogen that can be used, which leaves us with four electrons. So four electrons remaining. Okay, simple as that. Now, if there's four electrons remaining that aren't taken up in a bonding pair, this means that they have to be lone pairs, okay? So if there's four electrons remaining, lone pairs, therefore two lone pairs, okay? So we've worked out how many bonding pairs there are, there's two, and we've worked out how many lone pairs there are, there are also two, and that will allow us to work out the shape, okay? So this, uh, let's just draw this out then. So what I'm gonna do to start off, is just draw our lone pairs, okay? There's multiple ways you can draw this in AQA, so they like to see uh, the tear shape like this, okay? With our lone pairs inside. Alternatively, you can just draw the lone pairs, that's completely fine, or you can draw the, the tear cloudy things here without the lone pairs inside. All of those will get you the mark, okay? Now, what we want to do is we want to demonstrate repulsion, okay? Because these lone pairs and these bonding pairs are going to repel, Negative charges repel, so that's what we're going to have here, and this is going to be a H right here, okay? Now, ions, okay? This is a charged ion, so it's really important that we show square brackets, okay? When we have a charged ion, what we want to do is show square brackets and then put the charge to the top, which is just a minus charge here, and that's our marks right there. So, that's the shape done, so that'll be our first mark right here, okay? Shape done. Next up is our bond angle, okay? Now, what you need to know within this topic is that every additional lone pair is going to restrict and decrease the bonding angle by roughly 2.5 degrees, okay? So what we can do is we can think to ourselves, what is the shape if this was three bonding pairs and one lone pair opposed to two bonding pairs and two lone pairs? Okay, so if we have three bonding pairs and uh, one lone pair, sorry, one lone pair, this is going to equal a trigonal pyramidal, trigonal pyramidal shape. Okay, now here they haven't asked us for the name of the shape, which is completely fine, but in other questions they will most likely do that, so it's always good to memorize the shapes here. Trigonal pyramidal, okay, um, an example of this guy right here using nitrogen again is going to be NH3, 
okay, ammonia, classic ammonia, and this is going to have a bond angle of 107 degrees, okay? Now, again, three bonding pairs, one lone pair. Remember what I said when we add an additional lone pair, so when we swap out one of these bonding pairs for a lone pair, it's going to restrict this, uh, restrict this angle here by 2.5 degrees, okay? So that's gonna be minus 2.5 is going to give us 104.5 degrees. Okay, so that's gonna be our bond angle right here. Now, you can work that out through process of elimination like I did right here. I just recommend flashcards, memorizing all the potential shapes, all of the potential bond angles under the AQA specification and you should be completely fine, okay? The only part where it might get a bit tricky here is justification, all right? So what do we, why is this? Why, why is it this the shape and why is this the bond angle, okay? So, I'm just gonna write out a brief justification here and then explain myself. Okay, brief paragraph done, all right? So I've just outlined here the four electron pairs within this NH2 minus ion. We have two bonding pairs, two lone pairs. These repel each other to be as far apart as possible, okay? This is just natural repulsion laws based on if we've got a negative and a negative, they're going to repel each other. The same with positive, okay? Opposite charges attract, the same charges repel one another. However, what we need to know here is that lone pairs always, always repel more strongly than bonding pairs, okay? So these lone pairs right here are going to repel more strongly like I explained here. They're going to actually repel more strongly by roughly 2.5 degrees, okay? That's essentially how it works here. Just try and remember that number and you should, you should be completely fine, okay? Now then, let's say they ask us, what is the name of this shape right here? Pause the video and think to yourself, what is the shape of this? Okay, the shape of this is bent. Okay, exactly the same as a water molecule. Okay, if you have a water here, lone pair, and the hydrogens are kicked off down here. Exactly the same thing, okay? The way this works is because oxygen is a six, uh, group six atom, okay? So it has six valence electrons, which is exactly the same as what we have here. So once you work out the valence of the outer electrons on the central atom, it allows you to work out the shape super quickly and you wouldn't have to do all this whole process right here, okay? Hopefully this was helpful. If it was, drop me a like. Subscribe for future science and maths content. Really helps the channel grow. Best of luck, guys, in your exams. Peace.